In this video, we have the trigonometric integral of sine squared of x over secant to the fifth of x. And I always like to simplify or rewrite the integral in a form that I prefer. You have sine function here and secant. We know that secant and cosine are reciprocals. So I prefer to work with sine and cosine instead of sine and secant. So here this could be written as 1 over cosine to the fifth of x and the denominators are multiplying through by cosine to the fifth numerator and denominator. We're just taking this to the top. This can be written as sine squared of x and then cosine to the fifth of x dx. And then we look for any identities we can use to simplify further or possibly u substitution we can use. We know that the, sin, the uh, derivative sine is cosine. So I can rewrite this then as sine squared of x. And then I'm going to factor out a cosine out of this. And this will leave me with cosine to the fourth. So I'm going to rewrite that as cosine squared of x squared. So this is the same thing as cosine to the fourth. And I have this other factor here of cosine of x. This is dx. So, sorry, since I know that the derivative of sine is cosine here, I can choose a substitution and let u equal to sine of x. And du would equal to the derivative of sine is cosine of x, and then this would be dx. So I'm going for a u, standard u substitution here. I know I can rewrite cosine squared in terms of sine. So notice right here, cosine of x dx, that's right here. I can replace that by du, and then this will be equal to, this, went, this can be written then as sine squared of x. And then cosine squared from the uh, fundamental identity, cosine squared plus sine squared of the same angle equals to 1. I can rewrite this then as cosine squared can be written as 1 minus sine squared of x. And again, that's because cosine squared of an angle plus sine squared of the same angle equals to 1. Solving for cosine squared, I get this, and then this is squared. And then I'm going to start the, the uh, substitution here. So for cosine, for cosine of x here, dx, that's going to be du. So this will be replaced by du here. So I'll do it like this. This will be du. So step by step here, I've got du then. So I've got rid of this, cos of this term here, cosine of x dx. And then u is, co is sine of x, so sine squared can be replaced by u squared from this substitution here. Sine would be u, so this will be squared. And then this is going to be 1 minus, and then again sine of x is u, so this can be written as u squared here. And then this is squared. And then I got du. Now I've got everything in terms of u. So this is equal to then the integral. Let's go ahead and square this out. This will be u squared. And then square this out. It's going to be first term squared 1 minus twice this product. Be twice u squared. And then plus the u squared. That'll give me a u to the fourth. And then I'm going to move it up here, so I'll keep it on the, on the screen here. So this then is going to equal to the integral of, and then here, this is du here. This is now the little algebra here, so multiplying through by u squared here, I get u squared, multiply the next one here by u squared, this will be a minus 2 u to the fourth. And then u squared times the u to the fourth is u to the sixth here. This is du. 
I'm going to secure this here. Now we have the integral transformed into the variable u. So the integrand now is in terms of u. Everything's in terms of u. Now this is basic integration with respect to u here. So the u integrate at 1 to the exponent. So this will be at 3 for this one. And then you divide the coefficient by that. Get 3 to the third over 3 minus the same thing. The next one at 1 to the 4. That would be a 5. And then it gives me divide by 5. This will be c minus two fifths here and then u to the seventh over seven plus the constant of integration now the only thing we have to do now is just go back to the original variable i have a u here on each of these terms so the u substitution is u equal to sine of x wherever you have a u put a sine of x so this will be then sine to the third of x here and that'll be over 3 minus 2 fifths u to the fifth so this will be sine to the fifth of x u to the seventh so it'll be sine sine to the seventh of x this will be over 7 and then constant of integration And this is your final answer here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.